the accessibility is a quite important subject when we are designing some kind of software because some users may need some kind of assistance for utilizing the functionalities. It includes the um, non possibility for reading information from the interface and you also cannot utilize the mouse for perform clicks over the interface. And there's a lot of good practice for developing software to reach accessibility features. And one of these functionalities are the use of the tab order. As we can take a look here, tab order is a functionality which help user to navigate to the elements of your interface in the proper order without need to utilize the mouse, just the keyboard. So that's the goal of this video. We are going to build a RBI report, creating dashboards and using the tab order functionality to access the user navigation using just the keyboard. Hi there, I'm Rafa and I'm going to guide you through this video. We are going to create the report based in some simple database and then we are going to define a set of filters that has to be selected in a proper order of dependence. And then the data is going to be displayed according to the defined filters. And then we are also going to use the tab order property to ensure that the user just using the keyboard are going to navigate to all elements of the report in the proper order. So let's start that now. Here we have just opened Power BI desktop. And then we are going to create a new report taking some sample data set as a example. So here we can load sample data. So we just wait for that. It's going to download that. So anyone can reproduce this example because it's using the sample data set from Power BI. We're going to select it financials and then it's okay. Just click on load. Now it's going to, to load the data for being processed. And as soon as it's concluded, you're going to see the columns for the data we have available. So just wait now. It's the first step from loading the data for our report. Now data has been loaded and we are going to wait here in the right side the the data um, sheet is going is is named here financials and then here we have all the columns now we have prepared the data to visualize it let's start the second part that is to define the visualizations including the filters and the dashboards the first filter we are going to create is for selecting based in the date. So we are going to create here this slice visualization. It's a very good visualization component for filtering data. So here we can just drag and drop the date field. So it's going to prepare here a slicer for selecting elements accordingly with the date. We could more than that create here another slicer element and then here user may be able to filter based in the country so here user can select the country they want to to filter the data and then another another component we could utilize then a table to show elements that is going to be present for this date period and for this country. So here we can take the um, sales price. We can take more information about the um, about the sale, like the product that has been has been sold, and then we can take also the segment of the sale, and then it is okay at this moment okay of course you can adjust the order of these columns 
like probably the product name is the most significant for identify what has been sold and then the segment and then the last column just the last column with the the sales price and then we could have here another dashboard that's going to display just the total value okay we have here the total as well but we can sh show that in a bigger way just select here the sales price so here it's just a round but the same value we have here then it's now a user if filter here a certain country it then brings here just the entries for this specific country and if user filters for date it also is going to reduce the value because it's going to consider just this smaller or shorter period so if you, if we make the period larger then more elements is going to be included as well with more countries okay we can select a lot of them but we have not the sure if if a user use the keyboard from tab it's going to first process the filter visualizations and just then the, visual, the, the visualizations for displaying data so the last step of this video is going to be the definition of the tab order for the proper navigation okay now if we try to press the the tab key take a look in the order the data is going to navigate I, I have here selected the date now tab it has jumped to this display here if you press tab again jumps for this table here and tab again now for the country tab again return to the initial position so as you can see this is the first element this is the second element this is the third element and this is the fourth element what's the desired behavior here i would like user first to select date then select country and just then take a look in the results by reading data from both of, of visualizations now how we can define that how we can correct this tab order that was wrongly defined in this case so we can select here using the shift tab more than one element then we can here for format and then here click on selection and now here as you can see we have the tab order the first stuff is discarded here it's it's right the second one table it's not okay so here we are going to change for the slicer to be the second one this slicer here we have defined for country it's also of course a good practice for renaming the the elements it's going to make that easier for accessibility purpose as well so here we can rename that also for you can rename pressing f2 so here is the date or date filter very clear message here is the country filter here is the sales table and here is the total value now the order should be corrected let's try that first element here selected now press tab not not yet okay not yet okay let, let me try to click out from here and see if it's going to update the order here selected the country tab no, it, it was um not properly named country filter is okay date filter date filter dot sales tables here okay third one total value it, it's wrong it is not total value this is date filter okay and this one here is the total value and now we reorder them date filter 
country filter, sales table, total value. Now it should be okay. Now press tab, country, press tab, table, press tab, total. Again, press tab, date, press tab, country, press tab, table, press tab, total. It then works based in the selection. So as you can see, if I had some kind of difficult for navigate that uh, using also the tab by the standard configuration, we can imagine people that need some kind of accessibility. So that's why it's very important here to define the tab order and set proper names for your visualization and also define the proper order for navigation. Now our report presents appropriate data. Thank you for watching.